everybody thank you for watching today so I've got another nice packaging idea so this time I've got four Tunnix tea cakes in this little display box I actually made something very similar about three years ago and I was going back through my older tutorials and just looking at ways to kind of revamp them change them up a little bit that one I had as a Valentine's gift box and I filled it with Hershey's Kisses I believe that was right and there was tissue in it I'll link it up here because it's really nice and if you're liking the acetate kind of look then I think you'll enjoy that one I'll actually probably put together an acetate playlist um, because there's lots of other boxes that I've done as well but here you have it now this is a plastic candy cane near the time I'm actually going to put a real candy cane an edible one in here and I also thought you could maybe have a gift tag with a tea bag or something so it's like a nice little kind of treat to have when they're having a break or something perfect gifts for maybe dropping something to your neighbor maybe it's someone you don't know enough but you want to give them a gift maybe like the postman you know the your delivery guy things like that so I just think they're lovely little gifts and very easy and quick to make so let me show you how okay so I always pick these up for a pound you if you buy two boxes you can make three of these for two pound so three little gifts for two pound I think it's really good and they're delicious so um I only had four left in the other box so I never need an excuse to buy more anyway because I eat a lot of those I'm using the happy Christmas these are the chunky stickers from simply creative and then I've just got bits and pieces there that I'm going to use to decorate the acetate I'm using is this one here and it's the high quality grade crafters companion it's 9 by 12 inches and it's perfect for the use of the Gemini foil press as well okay so first of all we'll do the base or the tray so you'll need a piece of this here is eight and one eighth of an inch. It's that size because it's to fit specifically for Tannix tea cakes. Okay, so what you want to do is score it one and two on all four sides. This is going to be reinforced, so it's a really nice strong tray. So one and two inches on all four sides. Okay, so you can see all of the score lines there. Whilst I've got the scoreboard out, I will also use score the acetate. So this here is a piece of seven and one eighth but you want to take a slither off of it now the slither is always one sixteenth of an inch within every inch there are 16 markers when you look at a ruler it's not so good on this scoreboard but if you look on a ruler there are 16 now the easiest way to do this is on my trimmer here I can see the seven and one eighth seven and one eighth just there that little line just here that is the one that I want to now come to so that would be seven and one sixteenths of an inch if you break all these lines down if you counted all of them there are 16 up to the eight inches there okay so yours will come in at seven and one eighth well you'll be cutting yours from scratch but you want to come down just to that little notch or little marker just after the seven okay and that like I said is seven and one sixteenth and we need to just bring it in that little bit just to fit it nicely within the tray you can just do seven and one eighth but it will look a little bit squashed now with this one you're going to score it one and a half on all four sides so one and a half one and a half one and a half and one and a half now as I score this they're all kind of coming you know they're starting to fold towards me like upwards so if you turn it over that will now become the top because you might as well follow the flow of where these pieces are wanting to already go so I'm going to stick with this piece now I'm going to move the scoreboard because I think you'll be able to see actually no, I think you can see the acetate better with the scoreboard there so I'll keep that so what you want to do here is you're going to cut down one of these pieces here and basically you're going to remove the square in all of the corners there's a square there square there and there's a square here you want to remove those and I would say remove the score line so just cut the score line away but get a nice point on the corner of this main square so I'm just going to go around again Okay, so now you can see I've removed the squares in each of the corners there. Okay, and then if you just, just with your fingers, just burnish those score lines a little bit more so that it's all folding in. And you can kind of manipulate them out a bit, but now you've got this lid that's going to slot into the tray. 
Okay, and then moving on to the base, you want to fold and burnish all of those score lines. Okay, like so. And then this time, pick a side, it doesn't matter which one because they're all the same. You're going to cut down this score line past the first one and down to the second. So you've got these four squares in each corner. You then want to cut all the way down the next one. Again, all the way down to that second score line. This is your first, there's your second. These two outer squares you're going to remove completely. And then this top square you're going to remove. So you've got this one square attached and you're going to do that in all four corners but also you just want to take a little bit off just so that everything folds in really nicely and you get great corners on your tray like so. Now just do this one again okay like so and then just now flip it around so this is away from you and you're going to repeat the same on this side. Okay, so you should now have something like this and then we're going to start to stick it all together. So first of all, I'm just going to add my glue to the top of this tab here. You're going to repeat this on all of them. Just do one at a time. Bring it down and bring this side over. Just make sure you get a nice corner there. And then go around to the next one. like so. And just repeat that again at the opposite end. And then you just want to add glue. I'm now using my stronger glue just so it strengthens the sides. And this is the Kalau. So lots of people ask who are new to the channel what's in this bottle and it's always Kalau glue. If you ever see me using clear it's always the Kalau all purpose. And then just fold in all of the sides and that's the reinforcement. And with this glue in between, it's going to really strengthen it. So just let them kind of catch on each other. And then with your bone folder, just go in and really spread all that glue out. Okay, like so. Now you can get your four tea cakes or whatever it is you're putting in there. You can put little glue dots on the bottom, but it does all hold together. And I'm actually sealing the ribbon, so they do have to physically kind of rip this apart. So... <laughs> Then this will fit now really nicely Ooh. inside, like so. Oh, I'm gonna put that one in. There we go. So you can see, you just get a really nice finish. Then with the ribbon, start from the top and uh, twist it around. And then come back round again and then I just want to with a little bit of hot glue actually I'll leave that there first of all I'm just going to pop a small little bead of hot glue in the middle there and just sit this one over the top this is all going to be covered with that big sentiment so I'm not too worried but I'm just going to hold that there just a little bit taut for the minute but just make sure you can get that kind of in the middle bring that bit away and then I can bring this one around, just keeping everything straight. Again, I'm not going to cut it until I've stuck it. But again, just put a little bit of glue. You may just want to tie yours off with a bow. I mean, that's, you know, completely fine. But I am sealing this up. And then again, just remove the excess there. And then I've got one of these toppers. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, with some hot glue, just pop that one like so. And then again, I've got some hot glue. These are those felt holly leaves that I picked up the other day. And I shared them in my What Did I Get? I got these from the works. So I'm just popping a couple of those in the corner. And then I'm actually, you do get the red berries in the, you know, the packet with the holly, but they're a bit too big. And I wanted a group of three, so I've just got a little bit of this scrap pom-pom trim. And I'm just using three of the pom-poms as my little berries. 
Again, using the hot glue, like so. And then with the candy cane, this one's a little bit, um, maybe that's why I put it back into my Christmas stash because I never used that one because it was a bit bent. But like I said, these are in here as a reminder really for me to get real edible candy canes. There you have it, two beautiful little gifts filled with four Tonix tea cakes. And like I said, you could add a gift tag with maybe a nice Christmas tea in there, or you could maybe do like a little hot chocolate mix and you could put some marshmallows in a little bag and stuff. There's so many extra things you can do to finish this off, but I'm really happy with these. These are going along with the Ferrero Rochers that I shared recently and they are in my Christmas cupboard ready for me well I'm just filling it up really ready for me to give as gifts nearer the time so thank you for watching I will share links to the acetate and if I can find things like the toppers and these felt little pieces here then I will link all that below but yeah thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon bye